Hello everyone, welcome back to the shed. A uh, little history time. Boy, oh boy, I've had to do some reading about flight. Uh, how to make things fly. Lift, speed, ailerons, flaps, what things should be, what position they should be in. Man alive, this has suddenly got complicated. But for now, this is coming up later. I've got the uh, motors on, just so you know. We've got a little bit of flurb, and then we'll show you the exciting bit near the end. Please don't skip. Watch the entire thing. Um, like, subscribe, please. That would encourage me no end in, in continuing this, because it is getting a bit expensive now with all the stuff coming through. Um, ordered uh, ESC, a remote control, uh, electronic speed controller, that will fit in this, and some micro servos to go in this as well. So far, so good. Keep on watching. Okay, landing gear is done. As you can see, both sides and both of the the wheels are spinning. Well, as freely as they're gonna <laughs> they're gonna go. I need a little bit of grease on there, I think, just to make them go a bit more. Because with both motors on, if one of these is stiff, then it's gonna veer off in that direction. Because I've got no direction control on this at the moment. Uh, what we are going to do is get it wired up now, um, <clears throat> just to give you a little demo to see if it'll actually pull. <clears throat> I'm hoping it will. Uh, <laughs> fingers crossed. Let's see. Right, motors. Where are you? Here's one. I'm hoping this is the right side. Let's soon find out. I need to thread this through first. Are we about right? Let's have a seat. Wrong side. Okay, I need the other one. Well. Let's get this threaded through. As you can see, I've got bits of every, bits of bits of cockpit and everything lying around. Let's uh, join these two wires up. Important that I get these the right way round when we hook it up to the speed controller. Oh, that's the point. Let me go show you the speed controller that we got. Just a, a little manual speed controller. Um, it said 3.7 volts when I bought it. Got it through here and it's not. It's 7.2 volts. So I've got to be careful with the voltage that I put through the motors because the motors are only rated at 3.7. So I'm only probably going to go halfway on this little dial thing here. Got it ho hooked up to two uh, lipos in in the little box there, 3.7s. It'll give it plenty of plenty of juice. So we'll get this hooked up. We'll get both motors going. We'll give it a little a drag run along the floor in the shed um, and see how we go. Right, let's get these wires in. side there we go hoping I've got enough space when I put this together that it really is I'm gonna shift I know there's for sure enough power in the motors to at least drag it along the floor but this as I've been building it, I've noticed the weight on this is hysterical. Um, probably why no one's ever tried to make a plastic model fly before. Um, and if they have, I've certainly not seen it on YouTube. Not that I've looked. If I look, I'll probably get depressed that somebody else has already done it. Um, there we go. So that's in there. I need to get the other motor on now. Okay, here we go, twist those together, thread it through, let's have a seat, come on, first time, are we poking through, oh close, there we go, the little hink shrink's getting in the way. Obviously, I've got loads more painting to do and detailing, but right now, just to make it worthwhile and make this a video worth watching, because I'm sure all the 
I've kept the cutting out of bits and painting to a minimum on this build. I know it's goddamn boring. If you want to watch just plain simple model builds, there's plenty out there on the web. <coughs> this channel is going to be all about building these and then modding them. Okay, you're in. I'm hoping that's going to stay there while we do our little demo. It's only it's just tight fit that <laughs> friction fit that's uh, holding that in. Um, so there we go. Now I need the cross beam wherever I put it. Where do you put the cross beam? It's probably right in camera. Let me shift this out of the way. Cross beam, where did you go? Just like the real thing. It has a cross beam to join the wings together. So what we do is we get this think first make sure I've got this the right way round and fit that in there like so is that correct no that way round no upside down let's try it that way no that way this time come on there we go so, I need to get the left wing threaded through. I've got all the cockpit details and all the rest of it to put in. So, <laughs> I should plan my videos a bit better. Twist those together. I need to get it through this little gap here that it's left me and I need my magnifying glasses because I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, here we go. There's lots of people telling me this isn't going to work. It won't even move. Not a chance. Well, even if it doesn't move, it'll make a nice desk, desk fan. <laughs> so I need this to come out the bottom. So I need to thread this thread this so it goes out the bottom okay I can thread it over the top I can take it through that little hole there little hole there I can take it through let's get that through there so come on little wires I know what I'm going to do is pull this out a little bit so I can get my heat shrink through Put a little bit of red heat shrink there to let me know that's the positive side of the motor. Um, so obviously if I get them the wrong way around, it's going to push instead of pull. Right, are we on? Yeah, cooking on gas. All right. Can I get you in? No idea where these fit. There, I'm guessing. Right. So we've got a nice, that's stuck on something now, what's it stuck on? Pull the wires through a bit more. Sorry, this is really, really fiddly. <laughs> okay. Need to push that with something. Um, push it with that. It's got a little locking mechanism here, so that if you do want to see the detail inside the model, you can uh, take one side off. It's either that or they knew I was going to do this with it. Cannot get that in for the life of me. Come on. Need something to push it in. There we go. That side's in. Now I need you threaded through that hole. Let's get it through the hole. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. 
Okay. Now I need the other side on to here. Maybe there. This is where things usually go disastrously wrong. Because it is only a plastic model. Everything's just glued on. It's really fragile. those two parts together let's get this even what I'm going to do I'm going to put a couple of little screws in there just to hold the wings on so what I don't want it to do is fall to bits as it's running along the floor so I'll be right back with some screws there go then let's try a couple of little servo screws in it these are the screws that you normally get with the serv servos to hold the control arms on um, let's see if we can get that in there. If not, we'll have to go down the size. Yeah, gotcha. That's the other one gone. There we go. Let's say, this is just to hold the wings on while we do what we're going to do, because I know these motors are quite powerful. Now I need to join all these wires up to a plug, all these wires up to a plug, so I'll just have two cables coming off. Um, be right back. Right, let's get these wires the same size, length, sorry. And then I need some method of getting a socket on, just temporarily, for us to do what we need to do. So I need those two joined up for a start off. This in itself is going to cause drag when it goes along the floor, especially if I put... Especially if I put a little socket on it or connector block. And I've got to find something that's small enough so it's not dragging it too much. The reason why I'm using a knife and not some... Uh, strippers is because I don't want to move the model as it's so fragile so just a gentle go around on the sheathing and I should be able to get it off with my fingernails ok she's coming here we go there's me about to apologise for the state of my fingernails again I tell you anyone who's worked in a workshop or done anything fingernails are going to get absolutely minging. Come on. How much have we got there? There we go. Come on. Oh, you want to come? I'm pulling on the wrong bit, that's why. <laughs> so, <laughs> wish I'd got my wire cutters now. <laughs> wire strippers, sorry. Come on. God damn it. Quick flick. Come on. There we go. Made a right pig's ear of that. So, wire strippers, where you going? 
<laughs> so much easier. <laughs> right, I need to join up two blacks. Watch there. Join two reds. There we go. Okay. For now, I think I'm just going to solder the cables on. Yeah, because I can put a little bit of sheathing around them just to desolder them once I'm done. Okay, so. Uh, strip us. Soldering iron, wherever I put you. Here we go. Let's get my soldering iron warmed up while we're uh, piddling about. Right, let's get this uh, wire soldered on while the soldering iron's getting nice and hot. I'm going to do this in line rather than a, have a big bulge. It's also easier to get off once I desolder it by in line. You'll see exactly what I mean in just a second. <laughs> Let's see if I can get it on there. Come on. These things happen. Right, which end was I on? This end. Oh, this end. This end. Right, let's get that over there. Snag on anything? Where's my solder gone? Where is it? Just a little blob. That's that done. Right, heat shrink. What have I done with you? Go get some fresh, I think. Be right back with the heat some red as well. Which is there. So, the heat shrink on. on the subject. There we go. Nice. Okay, next bit of wire. Like I say, I will start planning these videos a little bit better in future. Um, tend to miss out all the bits that end up in, in disaster. Um, which are now are fun for you guys, but not so much fun for me. What, 
when I was initially testing these motors out, the amount of times the propellers flew off was just uh, astounding. And then I ended up looking online for replacement propellers. Um, and I couldn't find any. I've actually smashed one of these propellers. And I've had to re-glue it with epoxy. So um, that's unfortunate, but these things happen. But luckily, when we go up to a 1 to 24 scale for this build, I can get three leaf propellers roughly the correct size for this so more than happy with that I'll buy loads of spare propellers because I know it's going to crash a lot when we uh, get it going and we will have 7.2 volt motors on it so lots of power lots of speed let's get this done Okay, get my red heat shrink on. Oh, that's. I can't get it past that. I need some bigger heat shrink. probably really boring for you but I promise you this it'll be worth it let's get this wired up I mean the mother in me wants to crack on with the painting and everything else with that but the nutter in me wants to get this wired up and running and uh, see what it does so I'm hoping it will at least pull um, so that's the wires on all I need to do now is hook them up to a battery uh, the speed controller, sorry, and we should be cooking on gas. Right, speed controller, where are you? Let's get these stripped first and get this top soldering out turned off. No, I want you on, don't I? Right, I'll leave the soldering iron on for now, because I'm just going to strip these off and put, a, put some soldered ends on these cables here I need to put some soldered ends on them just to make them a bit more secure when they're in the uh, speed controller that we've got okay let's get that back on there and this time need to move the model out of the way put that there put that there get the solder so we're just soldering these ends up so they go nicely into our little manual or analog speed controller Go. Now we can turn this off. Put it somewhere it's not going to burn me. There we go. Speed controller. Which we have here. Make sure it's turned off. And I want red. Which is... a little flat screwdriver down somewhere and I don't know where so let me go look for that gotcha that's in the other cable try not to get these tangled get this one in 
Okay. Probably see there where I've nicked, nicked the cables, stripping them. Um, they're not going to touch each other, so that's cool. Right. Let's have a see, shall we? Put the battery on. Battery on. Um, let's turn it this way up. Obviously, there's all the cockpit to go on yet. Um, let's have a little. Okay, we've got one on. Both on. <laughs> uh, awesome. Right, so that's just kind of idling right there, right now. Um, let's uh, see if we can juice it up a bit. And as you can see, it's pushing it backwards, which means I've got the cables the wrong way around. <laughs> so let's turn it off and uh, do that again. Um, Screwdriver. There are always screw ups. Always, always screw ups. So you in there. I even marked the cable so I knew which one to go where. Right, just dropped the cable. Let's find that first. Where are you? Oh. Yeah. Sorry about this, I'm just rewiring. So hopefully this time round she's gonna wanna she's gonna wanna go. Right, let's have a seat. Just have to imagine the startup sound if I'd probably put a startup sound on the video. Right, let's see if the second one start up. There we go. Right, let's see if we can Oh, she wants to go. Right. Turn off for a second. I think there's something holding the cable back there. Alright. Out of the way. Out of the way. Really, I need a wheel under the back bit. That would help. Alright, let's see if she goes anywhere. Whoa! <laughs> and that was nowhere near any kind of speed. I tell you what, let's set this up on the floor and see what happens. But I'm loving the way it starts up. It starts up like a real one. <laughs> one engine starts. Second engine starts. <laughs> I had my hand on the wing there, by the way. That's why I wasn't moving. Whoa! <laughs> and as you can see, I got a little bit too clever and disaster. <laughs> Not so much of a disaster, it's probably just flicked off, actually. Which is probably a good thing I didn't secure these, because that would have properly knackered it. Right. Come on, in you go. Right, let's take this down on the floor. Okay, let's see if she'll uh, run, shall we? Everything seems to be okay. Cable's out of the way. Let's start her up. Okay. Uh, switch on. That's one going. Two going. Very much, she's dragging her arse end along the ground, so... Uh, there's quite a bit of friction going. Whoa! <laughs> that was like at 10% power on this controller. That's insane! Man, I can't wait to get the uh, RC gear, gear fit into that. We've got an um, RC uh, speed controller, electronic speed controller coming, and some micro micro servos, so we get some steering on it. And it veered off there just because. Uh, uh, the cable got underneath the uh, arse end here, so that's insane. Go the other way. Go the other way. 
<risa> This is mental. Un papala. Get the other one going. Two. See ya. Whoa! <laughs> Nearly hit the chair. <laughs> Again, 10% power. What the hell? <laughs> okay. I think uh, more than happy with that. Weird camera effects. That's awesome. I think one of these motors is faster than the other. Make an awesome desk fan, this. <laughs> awesome! In case you missed the first video in this uh, series, the Tamaya model kit and most of the other model kits of the Mosquito go together in the same way. In the, It's all in two halves. Which, which unsurprisingly is just like how the proper real life mosquito was built in two halves out of balsa wood and plywood um, amazing just amazing the whole thing just splits apart in two pieces and you just glue it together um, incredible so just like the real thing we're gonna make this fly one way or another either this one or the 1 to 24 scale we are gonna make it fly I'm just absolutely confident Probably not with this one, but with the 1 to 24, we've got a very decent chance because it's a lot bigger. I can fit more power into it, bigger engines, um, and fit all the necessary control gear for flaps, ailerons, and the rudder, of course. All of which will have to be controlled if it's got any chance of flying um, and coming down in one piece or even going up in one piece. Uh, this is just a nuts idea altogether. Um, you know those those schemes that you have and. When it comes to doing it, you think, why have I started this one? Um, okay. So I am just crazy happy with that. That's just uh, more than I ever could have expected. With the weight of this thing, I think it's... Uh, I, th I think that's great. And it's dragging its arse end along. There's no wheel at the back, which would lessen the friction. Um, but at 10% power, I can't imagine... I can't imagine how fast this is going to go uh, once I've got it all together with the RC speed controller on it. Like I say, in there we've got 55,000 RPM, 3.7 volt motors, 
Um, I can't take the speed control that I've got on it any part any further than halfway anyway, because it's powered by 7.2 volt batteries. Now, be wary if you're going to head for this project as well. These little things reckon they're rated at 3.7 volts, and they're not. It's 7.2. You don't get any kind of ratio when you put a 3.7 on. Um, whether it was me, whether this one's broken, I, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, something to avoid. Or just do what I've done, only take it halfway. But yeah, plastic kit model, powered. We know it taxis um, because we've just done it. Uh, the speed will be triple what you've just seen. It's fastest on there. Minimum when we get this going full blast. Um, all I've got to do now is is wait for the speed controller to come, the RC speed speed controller and the micro servos. Um, first test will be on this model again. Once I get my hands on a 1 to 24, that's the one that we will make fly. I promise you. That's if this this one doesn't. I mean, I don't know yet. I don't I don't even know if this is going to make a little hop. But we have no aileron control on it. It's just too small for me to get uh, any kind of control in there. Um, but still, I've seen people fly these not these but other remote control aircraft without any aileron control at all i just have to stick some flaps to it to get it to take off but we'll have to see i mean there's probably aircraft engineers watching this in despair they could it'll never work we'll just have to see won't we <laughs> anyway that's it for now uh, like subscribe please because subscribing encourages me uh, for more lunacy uh, but you know my childhood dreams here uh, are kind of coming true and uh, that's what hobbies are about i guess uh, making yourself happy and i can't recommend this hobby more more than it more more it is just uh, a great hobby anyway we'll see you next time um another video next week uh hopefully painted up and looking a bit more like a proper mosquito we'll get the cockpit on um and hopefully the uh, esc should arrive we might be we might be hurtling along on its own power without being cabled up. Anyway, see you later. Have a good week, guys.